Oh snap, you know what it is. It's another video and it's a different video. Today we're going to do story time. This is my first story time, stay tuned. And yeah, if you like this content, you want to see more of story time, let me know. Let's get to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm D Walks. Thank you so much for visiting my channel again. And today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. We're gonna do story time. Now I want to tell you a story of me getting into the elevator at blank and getting to an altercation. And tell me your thoughts in the comment section. Was I wrong or was it justified? But on a lovely afternoon, I decide to head to the gym because that's what I like to do. I like to head to the gym so I can get my body right in time for the summer that's coming up. Now, I was on the phone with my friend and we were just talking, having a good time. I decided to enter the elevator. Now, if you guys don't know what's going on, well, if you've been under a rock, you should know what's going on. So what's going on is that there is an epidemic that's widespread and because of the deadly effects of this epidemic, New York City and other states and companies put measures in place to keep their customers safe and also not to get sued with liabilities of basically not doing what they're supposed to do. So some of these rules in general that you have to wear a mask and when it comes to working out in the gym, you have to wear a mask working out. If you're taking the elevator, there should only be one person on the elevator at the specific company. Previous this encounter, I've been in many facilities where I myself got on the elevator and I saw someone and they say, oh, this is only for family or one person, but I'm gonna let it slide. And I said to myself, no, 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 I'm sorry, my apologies. I didn't see the memo on the elevator. I just got off the elevator. But sometimes, you know, you get triggered because you feel like you're getting pumped. You don't wanna be told what to do. You don't wanna be told like, oh, you can't get on the elevator. But the thing is, you, you can't give into that egotistic feeling because that is just not being an adult. And plus, these rules are in place so we can be safe. So I remember also when I was signing up for the gym and I didn't know about this rule. So I got on the elevator. There was someone on the elevator and they told me, bro, there's only one person supposed to be in the elevator. I felt punked, but I look at the sign and I said, oh, you're right. I just got off the elevator. So I felt punked, but at the same time, I know that this is the rule. We have to follow the rule because we want to keep safe. We don't want to get our loved one affected by this pandemic that could probably kill them. And we don't want to spread this um, pandemic. We want to keep it contained and we want to take safe measures to keep it contained. So with that being said, I just got out the elevator. I didn't really feel like arguing with the guy and plus the guy was in the right and I was in the wrong. That is the company policy. Only one person could be on the elevator at that particular time. So I just get off and just wait for my turn to be on the elevator. Not to mention, you don't have to take the elevator. We're just being lazy because literally it's just one step up one step up but the thing is when i'm going to the gym sometimes i don't want to go to the gym and i'm feeling lazy i want to save a little bit of energy for working out and i don't want to use that energy to burn calories i know it's stupid but sometimes i do that we all do that but we just want to skip steps because you want to save that little bit of energy just to work out so while i was on the elevator this guy comes in, so I decide to tell him, hey bro, look at the sign, it only says one person on an elevator. So that person replied, and I'm like, what? Is he retarded? Now, I'm sorry for the people that were actually retarded, I shouldn't say that, but I'm like, do you have common sense? So he presumed that he was gonna knock me the F out. So I said to myself, how are you gonna knock me the F out when you reach my titty? I am six foot one and a half. Now, not to say that short people can't beat up tall people, but for some reason, some short people have this Napoleon complex where they need to fight for everything. Not only that, some men have some complex where they have to fight for everything. And they don't realize that you are past that age, bro. That age is long gone. When you're in high school, yes, you fight, and you shouldn't fight in high school. When you get out of high school, those fighting days are over. Why? You could get sued, you could get people press charges against you. This is not something that you want in your record when you're trying to get a job. Suffice to say, don't fight if you're out of high school. I mean, who does that? What are you, a kid? 
So I'm not gonna lie, I am not gonna lie. My blood temperature was at 100. And the first thing I look around to see if there was cameras around. <laughs> I look around to see if there was cameras around, not because I was fearful for my safety, but because if I'm gonna fight you, I wanna make sure that I'm not caught on camera. This dumb is gonna yell at me in an elevator where there's cameras. So I decided, you know what? Obviously, you don't know how to fight like an adult. I'm gonna teach you how to fight like an adult. So my friend was on the phone and my friend was like, who is this a-hole? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I have my friend on the phone just in case I need to take a police report to have their statement. So I'm trying to calm this guy down and he got angrier and angrier and the more angrier he get, the more words he's throwing at me and he thinks that he's scared me, but he's, he's really not. He's really not. Not to say that I'm not scared of short people, but the thing is, I'm not scared of you, bro. I obviously I'm not scared of you. I'm not one of those people that get scared very easily. So I try to calm him down, even though he was throwing insults at me. So that I try to point to the sign to show him that he was like, "Don't put your hand in my face, bro." I'm like, bro, I'm not putting my hand in your face. I'm trying to show you the sign. So he's like, "I work here. I work here. I will knock you the f out." I was like, "Bruh." Bruh, you mean to tell me that you're not a customer, you actually work here? That you come here every single day knowing the policies of the company? That you're actually talking to a customer of the company like this? And you look like you're past 35? Wow. Now to go Ebonics, is you crazy <laughs> so I said to myself you work here and you're threatening to beat me up hmm someone hasn't graduated to adulthood so you may have the body of an adult but obviously your intelligence is that of a child so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how adults fight so and this is my tip in this video. One, stay calm. Don't show whoever is antagonizing you that you're scared of them. Never show that you're scared. Two, do not retaliate. Analyze the situation, see about your safety, know your surroundings. I know from analyzing this person that they were all talking no bite. I know that there's a camera. If this person were to hit me, I can press charges against them. Know your rights, people, know your rights. I can get a restraining order on this person. Obviously, this guy don't know how to fight as an adult. And you work at this company and you're threatening a customer. Wow. Oh shit. Oh my God. Somebody's about to get fired. Somebody's about to get fired. And that took me back to this Instagram video that I saw of this woman getting um, handcuffed by this officer. And, you know, it was funny. So the elevator opens up and this guy's still coming at me. So I'm like, you're not gonna get away with this. You just tell me that you work here. So you know what that means? You're about to lose your job. Hey, you're about to lose your job. What? What? You're about to lose your job. You're about to lose your job. So I got to the counter, and there was this girl at the counter. So then I told the girl what happened and she was obviously scared. Another employee comes around and he was scared. So obviously this guy, that's his tactics. He bullies people at work. But bro, you've met your match. Cause you know what? I was on my white lady <laughs> Yes I was, yes I was. I said, excuse me, can I speak to the manager? He was trying to antagonize me and bully me. Oh, you want to speak to manager? I'll get you, manager. I'll get you, manager. So then he went to go get the manager, and I thought that it was going to be this ghetto, another ghetto trash, to be, so to speak. So I thought it was going to be this ghetto trash that's going to be like, what you talking about, bro? What you, whoa. I don't know how ghetto people act. I'm not ghetto. So I thought it was going to be this ghetto ass chick, right? I thought it was going to be this ghetto ass boss that's going to come up to me with like nails up to here, you know what I mean, and hair up to here, or a hood ass dude with saggy ass pants and 
you know but from the way how he is acting I'm like okay so that must be a reflection of all of y'all so probably that's why I'm getting this images images in my head so and the way how he was acting as if like this manager was about to pop me in the face I'm like okay that manager about to get fired too because I'm about to write a report to the corporate office to see what's going on and why are these people getting hired so I'm expecting this manager to come over and like start a fight with me like this dude is, is doing right now or try to antagonize me in some way it was the complete opposite so this manager that comes up to me is very articulate listens and is very professional and I'm looking at him and I'm looking at her and it was like night and day I was like wow <laughs> you know what I mean because from the way how he was acting as if like she was gonna come over and pop me in my face but the thing is I could talk to her I could reason with her so she took me to the office we had a discussion and she told me to write what went down in the elevator so basically I write it down I, I told my friend that I had to talk to them later because I just have to think right and I said are you gonna check the, the cameras in the elevator she said yes we're gonna check the cameras in the elevator she said we're gonna investigate this and we're gonna let you know the results so I couldn't work out in that gym for that day and neither did I wanted to but I wanted to see results so I didn't end up working out that day I ended up going home relaxing because my adrenaline was just pumping really hard and I feel like I had to punch something I wanted to stay because I said to myself I'm gonna let him win but then it's gonna be a situation where if I see him and he see me there's only so much I could take to I revert to a kid behavior and want to fight somebody myself so I left that day and I got transferred for a whole week to another gym. So then they transferred me back to this gym and guess what? This guy lost his job. Now, I felt bad about it because it was December and that's Christmas time, but at the same time, you don't talk to a customer like that. Bro, you got yourself fired. Not to mention, from the reaction of the staff that works around you that had that scary look, this is how you navigate life. This is how you navigate life. So you know what? This is an actual lesson to you. Don't use your fist anymore. Use your mind. You're not a kid anymore. What I want you guys to take away from this situation is never let someone get away with disrespecting you and always try to find justice for yourself. Sometimes it may be hard to stand up for yourself, but if you don't stand up for yourself, who's going to stand up for you? So always have that in mind. Always have your back. All right, so that's it for the story time. If you like the story time, you wanna have more story time, let me know down in the comment section down below. So let me know in the comment section down below. Did I act how I'm supposed to act? Or should I just take in this crap? Was I in the right? Was he in the right? Or was I in the wrong? And, or was he in the wrong? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you for watching. My name is D-Walks and I'll see you in another video. Have a nice day.